Hey guys, the objective for this video is to calculate the acceleration of a car as it changes its velocity from 85 km per hour over here to 20 km per hour over here and this is over 4.5 seconds. So the formula you need to know to calculate the acceleration is A equals to the final velocity minus the initial velocity all over the time. So our first question is to find the car's average acceleration. So let's write down our knowns and unknowns. In this case, our velocity final equals to 20 kilometers per hour. So the VF, the velocity final, is where the car ends up. And the velocity initial is where our car begins. So 85 kilometers per hour. And the time it took to reach from here to here was 4.5 seconds. So our t is 4.5. So before we use the formula, you can see that our units are not really the same. So we have seconds and hours. So we want to convert everything to meters per second. So to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second, we know that one kilometer equals to 1,000 meters. This is the same thing, equals 1. And we know that 1 hour equals to 3,600 seconds. So as you can see, the hours cancel out, and the kilometers cancels out, and we're left with meters per second. So to convert 20 kilometers per hour to meters per second, you actually divide by 3.6, because if you cancel this out and cancel this out, we're left with 3.6 and 1. So 20 times 1 on 3.6 equals to 5.6 meters per second. And we do the same thing for V initial. We get 85 times 1 on 3.6 equals to 23.6 meters per second. Now that our units are all consistent, we can use the acceleration formula over here. So we have A, the acceleration equals to V final, 5.6, minus the initial velocity, 23.6. This is all over 4.5 seconds. And this works out to be negative 4 meters per second squared. So the units for acceleration is meters per second squared. And do you realize how this negative here, it means that the acceleration was decelerating. So that makes sense. You you started off with 85 kilometers per hour and you slowed down to 20. So it makes sense that our acceleration is negative in this case. So this is the answer to question one. Let's move on to question two. So the objective for question two is asking us how long it will take for the car to stop if it continues to break at the same rate. So the same rate means negative 4 meters per second squared. And the objective we're trying to find is the time because it's asking us for how long. So our t equals the unknown. Our a is negative 4 meters per second squared. So guys, in this part, our v initial actually changes to the train kilometers per hour, which is 5.6 meters per second because we're trying to work out the time it takes from here to a complete stop over here where V equals to zero. So our V final when the car stops is zero meters per second. So if we look back at our formula over here, we have A, we have V final and we have V initial. So all we need to do now is find T. So if you rearrange the formula, we will have T equals to VF minus V initial on A. And plugging all this information in, we have 0 minus 5.6 meters per second over our acceleration, which is negative 4. And as you can see, the two negatives cancel out. That makes sense because time cannot be negative. So we're left with 1.4 seconds. And that is our answer to question two.